how to integrate HubSpot to monday.com for a better CRM flow. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate HubSpot into monday.com for a better CRM experience. So let's get into it. Now, CRM is basically customer or client services related management softwares. And for a lot of people, they are using a CRM software and a project management software. So it could be monday.com, it could be any other platform. We're taking monday.com and uh, let's say I am managing my business on monday.com so i'm doing all of my r d i'm doing my product development i'm doing sales marketing i'm managing all of those tasks on monday.com but i'm using hubspot as my primary crm so uh, when i'm using hubspot as my crm and then i'm using monday.com i constantly will have to switch between platforms and that can be something that can be a bit time consuming and annoying after a while so for that purpose i'm going to show you how you can integrate the two together so first off you're just going to log on to your hubspot account so over here you're going to be wondering where do i actually sign up or how do i actually integrate monday.com well it's very simple once you open up your hubspot account you can see on your top right over here there's this shop icon basically you're just going to click on that and then this is going to open up your marketplace and then you're going to click on app marketplace so once you click on app marketplace you're going to see there are quite a vast majority of apps available there are so many different things that you can integrate with your crm tools and not only can you integrate other other applications but you can also integrate things like services specific services or a specific kind of assets that you might want in your website like atlas or studio canvas so anything you basically need you can integrate onto hubspot for free so you're just going to click on the app marketplace over here and once you click on app Mar marketplace you're just going to search for monday and this is going to be the uh, search results so you're just going to click on monday.com and then you're going to click on install app and then we're just going to wait for our hubspot integration tab to open up so this will open up the support tab on HubSpot integration. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to go into monday.com. And once you go into monday.com, we're just going to go into our basic uh, little monday.com board. And this is what my board is currently looking like. So what I can do is I can just uh, open up my board. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the board that I want to integrate, integrate HubSpot to. And then I'm just going to open up any kind of basic board. So I'm just going to take this Otai business or maybe I want to create like a separate workspace. So I'm just going to name this HubSpot sample just to show you guys how to do this. I'll just continue with the budgeting one because I think it's pretty simple. It, it's very empty, so it's not going to be too confusing. So what you're going to do once you open up monday.com and you also have HubSpot opened up, the reason that, that I like to open up both of these is it's a simpler uh, integration when, when you're logged on to both of your accounts. You don't have to constantly verify all the time. And then you're just going to open up the board or the workspace so make sure you're selecting the workspace on monday.com which you want to link to your actual hubspot account so i have like four different workspaces but i want to connect my bowtie workspace to my hubspot workspace so what i'm going to do once i I'll open up the bowtie workspace is you can either click on over here on your top left and then integrate from here but what you can also do is just open up this board this is the budgeting board and i'm going to click on these three dots on the right side over here and then i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to click on apps marketplace and this will open up the apps market place and over here i'm just going to search for hubspot and then i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on use app and i'm going to click on add to board and then you can uh you're going to once more choose the board that you want to add this to so let's say i want to add this into budgeting and i'm going to click on add feature and just like that this feature has been added so hubspot has been integrated onto my monday.com account now what has this basically entailed for me what are the pros of this what what is actually different now in my monday.com or in my hubspot in my overall hubspot account what's going to be the difference that i'm going to see well once you have integrated hubspot into a board let's say if you click on a workflow center over here and if i click all applications and i click on hubspot so now you can see these are some automations that i can add to my monday.com account so when a new contact list is created in hubspot create an item and sync all the future changes from hubspot or when a new item is created in hubspot create an item and sync all future changes i can also create my own custom workflows as well so uh, all I have to do is click on start from scratch and then I can add a initial trigger so I can just scroll down when the item is created then I want to click on more options I can you know add quite a few different kinds of automations and I can just click on HubSpot right now there aren't any specific HubSpot related ones because I haven't added anything so I'm just going to add a few more details and then we're just going to select the board like this and then you can obviously add your own automations there are quite a few different options 
options available. And if we go back on to our HubSpot account, uh, you can also see that you can sync up your calendars as well. And if I click on my workspace over here, Apps Marketplace, and I go on to HubSpot, so we're just going to click on over here. Now, you can see this has been added to one specific board. I can also click on the product development board and click on add feature. And now this has also been added to my product development board as well. So now I have added this to two of my boards. If you don't want it in a specific board, you don't add it. Uh, you can also separate it within board. So let's say in the R&D, I have no use for a CRM. I will just leave it at that. But if I want to add it to a specific board, I can do it like so. And the best part is that it enables you to uh, really efficiently move with your work. Uh, let's say if I go on to my automation and I'm going to take a look at the HubSpot automation that I can just use any of these templates. So uh, let's say I want to add company related uh, automations into HubSpot or Monday.com. So I'm going to click on connect and I'm just going to connect this and I'm going to click on connect app over here. So now you can see over here, when a new company is created in HubSpot, create an item and sync all future changes. So I can select whatever kind of item I want to create whenever a new company is created and I can just click on add to board. And now this automation has been added onto my monday.com account. So whenever I create a new company, this item will automatically be created. I can do the same with uh, items, companies, lists. There are so many different things that you can add with this feature. And the best part is that it enables you to really uh, manage your CRM in an efficient way. Way, especially if you're communicating with your team or with the entire like project if the team is working on a specific project and you're managing it on monday.com uh, it will enable you to solve issues a lot faster with these kinds of automations in place that enable uh, cross data examination or cross data sharing to be uh, available on both of these platforms now if we were to take a look at the pricing of bot.com hubspot is available for free plus it also has different bundles available starting at the start version of $45 where you get more increased features like forms, email marketing, landing pages. Then it goes to the professional version at $800 where you get collaboration tools, campaign management, social media, video hosting and management, and so much more. And then you also have the enterprise version, but I really think that is super, super reserved for people that are uh, professionals or larger companies, uh, which starts at $3,200 per month. So so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make few Future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video